Okay, in this presentation we are going to look at, this is introduction to pandas. Now essentially what I'm going to do here is an exercise with weather, okay, a weather data set. And essentially what I'm going to do, I have everything sort of set up already, so I just actually have to load up the data set. That's the URL, it's hosted on GitHub, and the file, the CSV file is called weather underscore 2012. Okay, so when I load that up, Uh, oops, got a little bit ahead of myself there. There we go. So when I load that up, grant that works. So uh, I, I, it's installed there. So I just like type in weather.info just to sort of see what I'm looking at. So I got 8,784 cases. Okay. And that should correspond to 24 hours in a day for 365 days, give or take, okay? And essentially what we have here is we have eight variables, okay? We have temp uh, date, date time, which actually makes sense, uh, like for each hour throughout the year. What is the weather? We have temperature, dew point, temperature, relative humidity, wind speed, visibility, SDM pressure, and weather. Now, I'm actually going to leave weather as weather, okay? So I'm not actually going to change the name. The data frame and the column will have the same name. Okay, I could change one, but I won't. So let's just actually bring up the head. The head is the first few cases. And it's just sort of overshot there. This thing's jumping around to me a bit. There we go. So, uh, yeah, this is like the sort of stroke of midnight, uh, the, the first hour of 2012. That is the weather reports. So over the course of the night, we had fog, then we had fog, then we had freezing drizzle and fog, freezing drizzle and fog, and then just some fog. Okay. So that's um, particularly what I'm looking at there is the last column, uh, which is weather. Okay. Let's look at the tail. And I just have to go back up there. So this is the last hours of 2012. So we had snow, 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 snow. Okay. So all of the numeric variables are fairly straightforward. And I'm, not, I'm actually not going to pay as much attention to them in this uh, presentation. I'm actually going to look at the weather column. Okay. And I'm going to perform sort of grouping operations. I'm particularly interested in that one. So anyway, weather. Essentially what I'm going to do here is actually to, to sort of pick out the unique values of weather. So this is all the, like this is in the order of uh, appearance. So the first thing was fog. That we got freezing drizzle and fog, mostly cloudy, cloudy rain, rain showers, and so on. Okay, so these are there's actually um, how many of them are there actually? How many of these possible uh, dis uh, descriptors are there? Now they're fairly well formatted. There's fifty of them. Okay. There's, so there's fifty of them, but some of them are overlap. Like I mean, there's rain and fog or no there's like for example snow and fog snow and hay so there's quite of overlap overlaps between uh, loads of different outcomes okay so so we can seemingly have rain snow and fog together okay or we could have rain showers and fog okay so so what we could do here is actually let's just start filtering the data okay so uh, it's a character variable, string, so str contains. This actually will tell us uh, which outcome, which case uh, contains um, rain. Okay, so this will just read through all of them and actually sort of say, does, is rain contained in it? It doesn't have to be just rain, it actually just, is there any sort of rain? I'll just actually change it to fog, because if you just recall from the first few cases, all far all of the first five cases had uh, fog. So the first five cases have are, are all true for fog, even though if we go back up here, uh, I changed it there. I'll just change this back to head that it was uh, fog, uh, fog, freezing drizzle. Uh, and fog, freezing drizzle, and fog. Okay. So 
Now, so this will actually just give a sort of uh, a list of all, like, is fog contained in the the outcome, yes or no, okay? So what is a sort of useful t thing to do? Rather than trying to get, like, a true-false, uh, like, array there, what we could do there is actually just sort of get the mean of that. We can actually can get the mean of logical variables. So that tells us, actually, that a, a proportion so we'll pause this a second of the sneeze. Bless me. So essentially it actually says, rather than just like look at them all and sort of say true, false, true, false, whatever, we actually could just read it out here is not 0.48, uh, it's just slightly shy of 5% of all of the cases have fog, okay? Uh, just actually how many cases are there of clear? Let's just look at that. Uh, I already have it done there already. It seems to be 39%. And so on. Uh, let's do it for rain. How, many, how, much, how often is it raining? About uh, just 7.84%, or just shy of 8%. Okay. So let's just go back here for a second. I'm just going to change that to head. So rather than print out all the cases, I'll just print, print, print out the first few. What we have there is a logical variable, false, 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 true, and so on, or a Boolean variable, as it's correctly called. And what we can do is actually use that to uh, just pick out the cases where rain has been uh, uh, detected or recorded. Okay. So what I'm going to do there is just so I actually have it highlighted there down at the bottom is in brackets there that actually is this part here is actually a sort of logical indexing or boolean indexing to the main variable uh, the main uh, column okay so that that actually just picks out the columns uh, where true or the values uh, the, the the rows where um, particularly the values of this column where rain was recorded okay so seemingly case 18, case 19, case 22, 20, and so on, okay? So, um, yeah, that's, uh, that's actually how we sort of pick out all the cases there, okay? Now, um, yeah, loads of there, okay. Now, uh, that, that's just the head there, oh, the first outcome there. Yeah, okay. Now, um, let's actually just look at the unique, the, the, the find only uh, rain weather reports. So what are they? Okay. So there's quite a few different ones that, they seem to have loads of different types of rain. And so they have rain, rain showers, or uh, rain reports, freezing rain, rain fog, thunderstorms and rain, and so on. Rain, ice pellets. Okay. That's interesting. Okay. And you can actually find the rows that have a weather value equal to fog. Now this is different. This is fog only. Okay. So I actually just want you to sort of just actually what's at the top and the bottom. Just actually a very big distinction between the two. So the, at the top it's anything that contains rain. Okay. Uh, uh, at the bottom here weather where weather equals fog. Uh, that is going to pick out fog cases only okay it will not pick out cases that are like rain and fog okay that's an important distinction okay so there we are let's just look at that there see there's going to be no uh, it's a bit hard to tell there but there's actually just none of the fog cases or the sorry none of the, none of the overlapping cases just fog only okay so let's just put the head on that just to make it a little bit easier to read There you go. Okay. Now, uh, what we could do here is find uh, rows where temperature is more than 10 degrees and weather is, uh, that's straightforward enough matter. Okay, so what we have here is two logical conditions. Okay. And we want to find the cases where weather is greater than 10 degrees and also weather is in cloudy or clear. Okay. So, 
if you just like this is just a sort of like where am I picking up cloudy and clear from this is just a sort of uh, just sort of spending a bit more time reading through those 50 cases uh, those 50 unique outcomes earlier on okay now is in this is like is an element of the set or is it including in uh, is in uh, cloudy and clear okay now uh, what I'm going to do here is uh, let's just actually just double check uh, does that in count uh, does, does this allow for overlaps so let's just go back up here a second so we have no that's not it well we have clear we have cloudy okay do we have any other cases there um I thought I saw mainly clear yes okay so will this count uh, will mainly clear count in this set okay well I, I could actually demonstrate it for you but the answer would be no so let's go down here again and there we are so this is just picking out the uh, I'm gonna call this uh, temp just just to sort of save it for a second so this is gonna pick out uh, uh, those two outcomes there or the cases that uh, correspond to those th those two logical criteria okay so let's just insert above it temp uh, let's look at weather Okay, so we're not expecting a huge amount of cases, but it's either cloudy and clear. Okay, okay, and let's just go you dot unique. Cloudy and clear, that's it. So if we want mostly uh, or mainly clear, we just have to add it in here. Okay. So let's try that again there we go so the mainly clear cases are encountered now okay now that is essentially there's no shortcuts for this so what you should really need to do is actually spend a bit of time just lit reading through that and just checking are all of them um, like you see you got a lot of thunderstorms there but essentially I like I what I could do there is just actually just read through a few more of them there just to actually sort of I mean, if you're if you were doing this for real, you probably spend a lot of time just checking through your data. Anyway, but I won't. So I'll just sort of uh, take it that these are the only three cases we want. Okay, so that's go grand. Okay, so um, that's where the temperature is over ten degrees. Also, okay. Just actually out of curiosity, how many cases are there where we seemingly get this nice weather? Uh, oops, length. Sorry. That's actually a series. But what I can do now is turn that into a data frame just by just changing my specification. And I messed that up. What did I do? I think I did that. There we go. So 2,716. Okay. Okay, that seems to be quite a, uh, a decent amount of weather. Okay. Uh, a, a, a decent proportion of good weather now what I'm going to do now is actually uh, carry out a dew point uh, sort of a group by operation so we're going to group uh, by uh, the, using the weather column and count the number of records for each category so there are 50 of these categories and they're all going to be treated separately okay and what we're going to do, first off, what we can do here is actually this is the count. So this is actually just actually gives us a count of how many instances of each of those fifty categories. Okay. So clear is one thousand three hundred and twenty-six. Okay. Now we're picking out the due column not for any particular reason, but what we could do now is get the mean for each of those. Okay. 
Now that's a, that's a sort of bit more interesting. Okay. Now it's still a little bit unsatisfactory actually because what really we should be doing here, uh, let's be honest, is actually creating from the weather creating new variables that are binary variables, is a uh, yes or no variables, ice pellets yes or no, snow yes or no, fog yes or no. Now that's actually fairly. We'll come back to that actually. Okay. Now. So what I've done there is, uh, yeah, counted the number, count, yeah. So I think, uh, yeah, that's just actually over, overdone, uh, overrun myself there a bit. Now, uh, what we can do here is plot a line graph for the temperature. Okay, this is just a sort of slightly different thing. Actually, I'm sort of coming, I'm coming to the end of this video. This is sort of like a, a, a couple of things I'm sort of setting up for later on, the, net, the, the fourth video. But this is actually just a sort of like. A, how to create new variables. But what I'm going to do here is uh, just actually plot temperature, which is a numeric variable, and it is just to give us a quick plot of temperature over the course of the year. So um, it seems to that, I mean, if you're looking at weather temperature, that sort of makes sense. Just actually the code to write it there is whether, just pick out the, col the temperature uh, variable, the type, uh, column, temp C, and plot it. Okay, and you can in your plot command you can just actually specify the size of the plot. Okay, uh, we can put in a bar uh, bar plot as well. It's not going to be a great plot really in this particular instance because it's all these fifty different cases, but really that's not a, as useful an outcome here. But uh, just in case you did need a bar plot, kind equals bar. That's how you would do it.